All right, YouTube or TikTok, Instagram, wherever this is going. Hello, how are you? Isn't that good, huh? Five of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles. This is the star came out in reverse. And we have to cover her nudity. Not yet. Not yet. Almost. You can feel it coming. It's not fully time yet. It's not fully ripe. Okay. Just coming out. Just coming in from out of the cold. Okay. But it's still not quite right yet. We're almost there. You should already know. You already feel it in your bones. You know something is coming. But it's not a bad thing. It doesn't feel like it. Let's double check just to be sure because you know something's coming. Four wands. Seven of Swords is behind the deck. So there's going to be a message that comes through. This message could be coming through you know, during silence, Five of Pentacles is being out in the cold. It's kind of being away from a lot of people, being rejected, okay? So for me, that's like a period of silence or being alone. So in a time of being alone or in silence, the star is a card of, you know, guidance, you know, through, you know... Um, for me, especially right next to the High Priestess, it would be like mediumship, psychic abilities, you know, divine wisdom, divine guidance. Um, I keep wanting to say ancestors. I don't know why, but I keep wanting to say that. I really want to say your guides, angels, angelic presence, and such. But I keep wanting to say ancestors. So, yes, I'm being told ancestors. Okay. Of course it is. Of course it is. Because you have the stability, the roots, okay, with the four wands. So somebody's ancestors, okay. So somebody could be, I'm not getting anything about karma, but it's something that could be very ancestral, okay. Seven of Swords. Something could have been taken from you, something that you were supposed to inherit, you know. It could be a house. Maybe you're supposed to inherit a house. You know, maybe you've lost a house and you're about to gain a house maybe you've lost a lot of things throughout your life and it's something that's kind of like happened like a seri series of reversals you know good fortune and then reversals losses and that could have been something throughout your family history and a lot of it could have something to do with mindset could also have something to do with you know a lot of times people always say they blame everything on the mindset they blame it all on the mindset they blame it all on the mindset oh you must think bad thoughts or whatever you must think no it's not always the case i was telling somebody about this last night as a matter of fact hi dexter sometimes it's written in the stars sometimes it is written in the stars you would think some astrologers at this point at least ones that i would say would actually tell you how to navigate through that i haven't seen that yet but um <gasps> but sometimes those things really are in the stars so and that could be what that is all right so, what in the I'm not, no, I'm not moving. No, I'm not. My butt wants to be here. I'm tired of always giving up my seat. You're going to have to just make do with what you got. I didn't like it because he didn't want me to, he was trying to force me to move out of my own seat. <laughs> it's such a, I do like when he sits with me though, but no, I'm, I want my entire butt to be on the chair. It's got nerve. Okay. So, what is this that is coming? What is it that what is it that the ancestors are trying to tell? Oh. What is it that's coming is the empress. That house you've been wanting. That property you've been wanting. That car you've been wanting. Whatever it is that you've been wanting. Maybe that person that you've been wanting. The empress showing up is saying with me asking that question. The empress showing up is saying 
you're going to be in the right place at the right time and you're going to get whatever it is that you want okay you are going to be in a very good place to receive that's what the empress is telling me this is the energy it's not necessarily it doesn't feel technically as a person it feels like the energy of it her blessing is coming over this um this reading she is in the upright we had the star in the reverse so it's like it's not quite yet but it's coming okay and it's good things all right we have fortune told you Here cups and look at the hierophant sticking out. Look at that. Something wants me to kind of continue. To, something wants me to just kind of tell, tell you. It's like keep this short. Don't. No. Stand by. Give me a moment. What did I say? No. He's being incorrigible tonight. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, where was I? He's really, really trying to... He's speaking to me. Good grief. Okay. You keep distracting me. It's making me take longer. All right. Whoever has been going through, I I cannot. The star is the one I can't show, so we can we can pull these out. It's okay to to show these. I'm getting it's okay. Something is okay. It's okay now. It's okay for somebody to come out. It's okay for somebody to clear the karma. It's okay to kind of change change something about yourself. Things are going to change. It's okay. I feel like it's like something about, <sighs> he is being so bad. Get... All right. I'm just going to have to leave this short. <laughs> I was going to leave it short anyway, but what I'm kind of getting is whatever it is that you've been wanting, you're going to have an opportunity to get it. Okay. I'm, it literally is almost even like falling out of the sky. All right. Take a chance. Take a chance. Okay. I'm not saying take a risk. Take a chance. Nothing that's like, you know, I, it's literally, it's going to be something that's going to be very easy. It's going to, he's, he's just being so bad. He's being so bad. All right, he keeps distracting me. <laughs> anyway, man. I'm just gonna leave it at this, okay? I was getting a lot of, I was getting a lot of stuff but he kept, he kept throwing me off. He kept distracting me. So, I mean, that literally could be something where it's just like, you know, don't say anything because maybe it's not something that we're supposed to know because it can probably stop or hinder or call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if I did say something, it might make you prepare or expect something because what happens? Every time we do something or every time, you know, somebody says something to you, it makes you think. And what that does is it kind of changes your thoughts about which way to go. All right. Just like every tarot reading that you see, everyone thinks every single reading is about the X and it's not. And I guarantee I'll have people in my comment section right now telling me it's about the X. And people are, so many people are missing out on life because they're focused on one thing. And they're not realizing that the people that are coming in and out of their life every single day 
are the ones that, that are manifesting in these readings. And it has not, a lot of times it has nothing to do with the ex. It has something to do with, you know, somebody from your past. It's not always an ex. Because be somebody that you sat next to on the bus yesterday. Yesterday is the past. Ten minutes ago is the past. So something has been, I guess, maybe doesn't really want me to give too much detail. Because I was getting details. I was seeing things. Just expect. It's not even unexpected. It's time. It's time. This isn't going to be for everyone. Of course. I hope we all have common sense enough to know that. But I still have to remind people. Somebody could be coming in. You could be meeting with another person. Who can actually probably help you to get the ball rolling on something. An opportunity is going to present itself. You may actually have to seek you know, advice from a trusted person who is a professional in their field. I'm going to leave it at that. All right. Everyone always thinks that they're supposed to consult their friends. No. Sometimes you might need to kind of get, get an attorney just for a free consultation. Getting an attorney isn't always a bad thing. Sometimes you have to have a, a, an attorney review a contract. It's nothing bad. Somebody maybe wants to, wants to present yourself with something. And maybe you want to understand how to read through the laws. Sometimes you maybe need to kind of see a therapist or a doctor for whatever your problem is. You don't go to your friend. So seek, if it comes to something like that, there's going to be something. And that's what this Three of Cups could, could be. You know, coming together or reuniting with somebody where you kind of like, you meet each other and you seek their professional wisdom or their professional advice. And the key word is professional. Professional. It's not your friend. It's not. All right? Unless your friend is a professional in that field, it's not a friend. It's not about consulting someone, because I'm getting consultation. It's not about consulting someone that is not an expert in that field. Or isn't knowledgeable or is not their study it's not their it's not their practice okay so you may be getting together with somebody an opportunity is going to present itself and you're going to get the opportunity that you've been wanting whether it's to make it i'm getting something it could be even about a purchase or a house or something like that whatever you lost something's going to be coming back to you it could be times 10. Something could definitely be coming back times 10. So let's say you lost. Let's say you lost a love that you didn't want to lose. Somebody 10 times better is going to be coming in. Let's say you lost a house. A house 10 times the value of the house that you had is going to be coming in. You know, and you'll have that opportunity to get it. A car. It doesn't always even have to be possessions. You have the high priestess here. Okay. You know, let's say, you know, you were, you have, um, you feel like you have very good intuition or, but things are just fuzzy or whatever. Next thing you know, you, you, something happens or the planets and the stars align. And next thing you know, oh, you're starting to hear, you know, voices but in a good way it's the it's the clear audience it's not you know it's the clear audience you know and let's say it's something that's to you is kind of actually welcoming all right let's say somebody is actually healing something okay you know they were a mess before they were probably unstable now they're becoming stable okay this even for financially I definitely see something is a lot. For me, a lot of it is about possessions. Okay? For me, that's what it feels like strongly. But it can be something, you know, very abstract as well. All right? A lot of times, people don't see the, the minor stuff. They don't see the abstract. They, they don't see life poetically. They don't see life metaphorically. 
So a lot of times the blessings that come in, they don't even see them. And that's why more don't come in because they're unable to open up that, that center in, in the mind. All right. There was something else. No. Mm. It's gonna have something to do with the moon. It's gonna have something to do with the moon. All right. Yeah. It's the moon and cancer. The moon and cancer. Is that what's coming up? Anyway, we have Pisces here. We have Aquarius here. We have Leo, Taurus, Aquarius again, Scorpio, Taurus, Libra, and wherever the placements are that you have those zodiac signs. It's not always a person that's coming in there that you're dealing with one of these people. See where it is in your birth chart where these, you know, zodiac sign placements are. For me, I have Taurus in my first house. I have Libra in my sixth house. Those things may be highlighted or activated. Where are your placements? It's not always that, you know, you're dealing with an Aquarius, you're dealing with a Pisces, you're dealing with a Taurus. It's not always that. A lot of times this is all about you. This is your compass. This is about you. Where are these things highlighted and accented in your birth chart? It's time to start understanding those things, I think. Anyway, that's what you got. So just kind of know that something really, really wonderful is going to be coming in. That opportunity that you've been wanting is going to come in. It's coming in. I don't know how soon it is. I feel like it's actually going to be really, really soon, to be honest. However, I do see this five, five years. I feel like it's the past five years, though. Things are starting to expedite. If you know you've been doing the work on yourself, if you've been trying to become a better person, if you've been trying to work on, you know, your, you know, any kind of issues or situations, if you've had trauma and you've been working on that, then you'll know that this is you. All right. I'm going to leave it there. I apologize for Dexter being so incorrigible. <laughs> It sucks because, you know, but then again, like I said, you know, all things happen for a reason. And there's probably a reason why he distracted me because I was getting ready to say some things. And it's like, I can actually feel like it's still there. I can think of what it is, but I can't remember exactly what it is. And I know it was something it was like, it was, it was pretty detailed actually. But, and he kept stopping me. So, I'll leave it there. All right. So, if you can, subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. And hit the thumbs up. Interact with me a little bit. Say hi to me. I always talk back. I like talking to, you know, I like connecting with, with people. I'm okay with it. I don't, it doesn't bother me. As long as I have enough time to, I, I do. You know, sometimes I don't. But I love to, to connect with people. I love to respond. Um, if you like to make a purchase. If you'd like to make a donation. Why am I hearing that? Anyway. I don't know why I'm hearing that. Okay. Maybe you need to make a purchase about something. All right. Anyway. Anyway. Um, if you like to book a personal reading, you can email become the star 1111 at gmail.com. And um, all my readings I do one on one, face to face through Zoom. Download the Zoom app. It's free. It's simple. Okay. I don't have it any other way. I don't have it any other way. There's a lot of reasons why I do it that way. Okay. Um, one thing's for sure is you know that it's me that you're getting because there's other scammers out there that are pretending to be me and looking to scam you for money. And they're going to email you and they're going to say, hey, I'm, I'm yada, 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 you know, send me some money and I'll give you a crappy reading. No, I don't do that. I don't do email readings. I don't do text readings. I don't do 
recorded readings. You meet with me one-on-one -on -one through the camera, okay? And we see each other and we speak to each other, okay? It's very, very important. It's very important, okay? To me, it's important that it's done that way. Anyway, um, you can also connect with me through Instagram. Uh, become the star, all one word, all lowercase letters, okay? I'm going to leave it there. <laughs> That's pretty much it. All right. I'll see you soon. Good luck.